Katie is a circus performer for the Florida State University Flying High Circus. This weekend is Parents Weekend. We're gonna get a tour of the circus tent and get to see the costumes and that kind of stuff. A little intimidating. It's kind of scary. Whatever. Welcome to the Haskins Circus Complex. Come on in. This is behind the scenes. Okay. And this is the hut. Oh my gosh, so this cool. Is where all the magic happens. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here's all the juggling equipment. Oh, that's so cool. So this is like all the stuff we're going And then this is the monitor where we can watch where the show is happening. Oh, you can see. happening outside. Oh, so that's actually, is that, is that live is, right now? This is from Friday, so this is from yesterday. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is where the jump rope stays. Uh, oh, that's your jump, jump rope. rope. Okay. I mean, this is the rebar spot. But it's not back here right now because it's like prepped for the show. But the rebar is going here. The rebar, Katie, is actually a rush, they call, they call the Russian bar. bar the rebar. Okay. The bikes. Wait, why isn't it there? Because it's where? Because it's, I'll show you where it is. Okay. Oh, the bikes. Adorable. Yeah. Which Katie so. said that during one of the shows when the bikes broke. Yeah, this one. Cool. Anyways, okay. okay, so this is where we stretch pre show. Oh, good, okay. Talking tape. <laughs> I love it. Costume. How do you know which one's yours? Is your name on it? Um, yeah, and you can just like, it's always with other costumes. And here's Rebar. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So here's is my that yours? costume, yeah. Oh, can you take it out and we can look at it? Um, I think so. I hope so. In order for shows, but there she okay. is. Okay. It kind of smells like vinegar because we washed it last week. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is me and Gabby's. Okay. But you don't share costumes, do we you? We do. Oh, you do? We share this one, yeah. Oh, wow. And then the two porters share these two. Okay. Um, and then jump rope is in there somewhere. It's we the glowy one. so many times, so. Hey. <laughs> um, and then this is where we all set up. Like for makeup and stuff? Selena. Makeup in here. <laughs> Hi, Selena. Hi. She's in charge of all the costumes. Oh, that's so great. Do you and mind being makeup. on video? Is that okay? <laughs> Are you the one that made the costume? Yeah, I'm primary. I'm the full time position that does it. And then we have students helping with it too. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So I've had between two and three people this year helping out. That is awesome. Well, they're just beautiful. But, We're yeah, so impressed. They are. There's a, that's a big, big wardrobe to, yeah, to manage. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Aww. Bye, okay. thank you. I've actually never been in there because it kind of scares me. But it's the cage. The cage. Like what? Oh, cables and stuff for yeah, like the all rigging? Stuff that I don't get. Big mats. Oh, yeah, that's a it's very gymnastic y, huh? Isn't it gymnastic y? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then that's just a bunch of storage. So, like, old stuff. Yeah, awesome. Here's your locker room. She's in, uh, <clears throat> in need of a little TLC. <clears throat> that might be my costume that I forgot to forget yesterday. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> Selena is right out there too. She's going to be so upset with you. Mine. Oh. So on every costume, you have your like actual costume. And then... Uh, the, you find your club, yes. Yeah, and it has your name on it. So, so that's, that's definitely my yours. bad for not putting that back. So she's okay. probably gonna, slice my head off. After <laughs> um, she just gave you a nice compliment and now here comes Katie. Yeah, I know. Work. And you know what today is? Today is World Circus Day. Do you know that? Stop. Yes. That's no, cool. seriously. It's so how Walker. appropriate. Wait, you and who? Kaylee. Those you should. Okay. <laughs> um, Cute. Yeah, and then the things. Okay. And the, yeah. Makeup and stuff. It's I love really, it. Yeah. It needs more. Oh, well, Which is why we're having an expansion. <laughs> <laughs> Walk of shame. All right, so this is what they see when they come out of what's this? What's this called? The hut. Okay, so when you're all dressed and you're ready to go, right? Yeah. So this is always closed. These are closed during shows. All the riggers stand right here. We go this way. Around the back. Okay. A lot of times there's people running this way and you're going this way. Oh, and it's dark. Oh, just came off. You're just about to go on. Okay. It's like, good luck, good luck, good luck, good job, good job, good job. Aww. And then, this is where it starts to get, I'm like, starting to get like butterflies. <laughs> right now? Yeah, it's like a traumatic like response. <laughs> so this is another monitor. So when riggers stand here to go in and out, uh -huh. they can check what the, like when the act is going. So they just took off the jump rope from oh. yesterday. So on here you can see like what's going on. And then your team will wait right here. 
and we'll all just like jump around and be able to read if we're all scared. And you go like this, one, two, three. Jump or die. No. You have to whisper it because everyone can hear you right there. So you have to like, be like jump or die. Um, yeah, so then back here, there's only a cart right here, which is like, so when I do rebar tonight, I'll wear my Crocs back here so I'm not barefoot, and then I'll throw my Crocs on the cart and then get some chalk and then get ready to go. And then back here is the quick change tent. Oh! For people who have like act, act, like almost back to back. So this is the cart that goes out there. They'll put all their costumes on this bar. You just come in here and there's all, all the, these different. Yeah. Yeah, changing rooms. Changing rooms. Cool, this is really extensive. And then this is everything that's getting ready for the show um, that can't be inside at the moment. So this is all the wire stuff. So you oh, the yeah. So can I touch it? Yeah. You guys, it's like three bars. When you see three tonight, like when, later on when you see Katie's um, event, you'll see three pole vault poles. Pole vault, you can hysterical. See, you can see this too. Okay, yeah. It's a little foam with tape oh. around it. And it's on the, t well, but you don't have foam. You don't have foam at all. No. Why? The boys do. Oh, they do. Yeah, that's the end for them. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what they put on their shoulders. This is just a piece of wood. And then this you land. Wow. Yeah. So that's it's. I would say, just... yeah, it's ex I, it's as thick as a beam. No. Actually, a little thinner. Inch, I think it's an inch thicker. Oh, you think it's thicker? A, a beam, beam is four inches. A beam is four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's like, I think, and that was, I think it's five inches. I think. Okay. Yeah. Is, it e Whoa. Oh, is it easier to land on than a beam, do you think? Yeah. So she has it moves with me. Ah, nice, right. Um, then Your beam catches that you. Behind, like that cart that I told you about, this is where you get chalked for. And then there's a tent over here too, oh. which is where security sits. <laughs> this is also where we all line up before final battles. We all start lining up during flying trap because it's the last act, so we all stand in front of the So you can't see it, you're just listening to the crowd or listening to whatever. Well, I watch them, I always watch them. I love flying trap. Okay. And then this is where one coach stands here, and one ringmaster stands here. We have three ringmasters. So one of them is always right here with the headset on, and there are other coaches over there with the headset on. And they tell us when to go, so they'll pull the curtains back for us. Or, like that's for jump rope, since we don't have a light cue, um, they'll just open it up and we'll run out. But for a Russian bar, but yeah. we start in front, so we start here. And we wait. And then we go once those lights cue us to go. Oh, so once cool. they turn on, then we all start oh. what it looks like. Oh so my like, gosh. So that's a little intimidating. And it's kind of scary. So like, and look, at there's a monitor there too, so you can yeah, see what's so going this, on. These two are also normally down. So it's all dark and it's like you it's can't turn dark, back. You're standing in here and it's like... <laughs> Sometimes I just keep my head out to breathe. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It's, yeah. So when we jump rope, it's like, Gabby, me, James, Austin, Kaylee Austin. And so we're just sitting there, like, all, like, in our own world. Gabby never talks. She's always, like, <laughs> I always am, like, in, like, a little whip. And that's embarrassing, but I did it one time. We did really well, so now I have to do it every time. So there's another monitor right there. Would you say that you get... More nervous for jump rope or rhubarb? Rhubarb for sure. Because you can fall off of rhubarb. Yeah. And I'm the only one in the air. Okay, so, okay, so here we go. You walk through. Okay, and then it's like and then you walk out. showtime. Yeah, and then I walk out the like With your shoulders back though. There you go. Yeah, it's like that. Oh, it's I mean, hot in here. It's really yeah, hot in here. It's the freaking tent. So when it's 95 degrees out and we have to practice, everyone's like, Ugh. oh my gosh, it's That's really hot. The side walls are like up on the bottom. Yeah. There. Yeah. That really helps because there's like a crosswind so we can like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool down. Yeah. But also all of these pieces of tape on the floor. They all mean all something. for riggers to know like where they put the stuff. So like these four corners right here, like this one. And that one, that one, that's for where they put the, the mat for Russian bar. Okay. I'll be approximately right here. This is my gem for my jump rope oh, shoot. that fell off mid <laughs> <laughs> Selena's gonna be like, Katie, what the heck? No, they always fall off. So when you're, Katie, when you're here and you're performing and you look out, so you guys, I'm gonna give you like a round. When you look out, can you see people? 
No, so the lights are making I mean, you, you so you could if you focus. If you drive, right? But like I don't drive, <laughs> right? Like, right. The only people I can kind of see are the ones sitting like very close by to the bottom. Okay. Can you see? And Katie Jones. I can always see Katie Jones. Because that's <laughs> that's. Yeah, that's where the concessions are. Yes, let's do that. I'm just gonna show everybody. This is the big top. It's so cool. And it's a lot bigger inside than it looks from outside. Yes, it is. It, it yes, you're exactly right. And it seats. I think they said 2,500 people. And you I do think, nine shows. Yeah, ring one, two, and three. Yes. Okay. Ring one. Ring two. Like when they say three ring circus, you guys, this is a straight up three ring circus. This is concessions. This is where. Um, my blood, sweat, and tears go in. <laughs> this is the um, hardest job you have with the whole circus. I'm always placed on concessions, not one time. Sometimes people get breaks. Like sometimes Can you explain what that means? Because I don't think our audience knows about okay, yeah. um, how you guys are completely so, student run. Yeah, we're completely student run. So, like, everyone who is working concessions, ticketing, ushering, rigging, they're all, it, they're all performers in the circus. So, it's like when you're not doing your act, you're most likely doing something else. But sometimes you don't have to do something else because it's like pretty much randomized. But for some reason, the random generator or whatever they use has put me on concessions every single time and I've been in every single show. So a lot of my friends who are in like shows, they'll be like, oh, I, like, I'm in show today, I don't have a job. But that has never happened to me before. So <laughs> I'm just always here. This is where everyone checks out. So we don't touch this because you have to be like certified to do that. This is all of the supplies. So this is a the fat roll of paper that we always put on top of all the tables. Um, waters are our number one seller. Salt, snow cone, syrup, spoons for the snow cones. And then we recently switched to a healthier option for the butter that we put on our popcorn. So you see this really like nasty chemical like butter stuff. If you look at the ingredients, it'd be like blah, 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 like disgusting. But this, which is why it has to be in here, it's coconut oil. So it'll like oh, coagulate congeal. or whatever, yeah. congeal, uh -huh. coagulate, that's with, with blood. So this is like a healthier, the instructions for this, this is how I do it. Okay. So you have internals, your salt, and your butter. You open this up. This is spinning inside of here. You take the butter, you squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. It has to fill up the whole bottom. That's the key. People under butter and they over salt. Like I fill it up so it covers the whole entire bottom. And then you put the bottom down. These are normally over here. You scoop a cup. There's a cup in there. You scoop a cup of kernels, put the kernels in there. While that's spinning, you take a half a tablespoon of salt. A half. Not three quarters, not one, half. Pour it in there. This closes like this. It's popping, it's turning. It starts popping, it's exploding everywhere. <laughs> you go like this, dump it, bring it back up. This stays up there, theoretically, and then you do it again. So then the popcorn starts to pile up. You pull this down, Ooh. scoop it, put, the, put them into the cup of popcorn cans, or like this one. Nice. Throw them in the sides, and then have happy, happy popcorn eaters. Pretty, that's amazing. How did you learn that? That must have taken a lot of training. You know, I just, I think I have a, I have a talent for popcorn making. This is the instructions, but oh. I don't need those because I, I'm like classically trained yes. for making. So. And it looks like you fixed it. It yeah. used to say one tablespoon of salt. Yeah. You put a half. And that's it. Then we come back around and there's merchandise right over there where we started. Very impressive, Kate. Very impressive. Do you want to get a donut? Sure. Hey guys, click here to watch Katie's circus performance. It is truly amazing.